And we will continue our team coverage in just a couple of minutes. But first, we are following some breaking news in Pasco County right now. More than a dozen patients are not in their hospital rooms after a fire at the Hudson facility. The good news is this fire is now out, but we are learning that about 300 more patients may have to get out, seek shelter tonight. Jen Holloway is live in Hudson. So where are these people being taken? Where are they going, Jen? Well, Keith, they're going a lot of various different places. When we pulled up here tonight to this emergency scene, we saw ambulances from as far as away as Orlando. They came here to help out. Of course, local agencies helping out here as well. But as many as 300 patients inside this hospital tonight, they do not have the proper electrical equipment to maintain the hospital ongoings that they were doing. So what they need to do is transport them to other locations. Those are various locations. We have confirmed that 43 have been transported so far, but just moments ago, we heard from the CEO of the hospital here at Bayonet Point Regional Medical Center. The CEO spoke to us moments ago, and here's what he said in regards to the rest of the evacu evacuations that will continue throughout the night. Uh, we do have power back up uh, about 40% to 50% of the facility, and uh, we are continuing to evacuate certain uh, critical patients, uh, but right now we're in more of a stable condition than we were. They certainly are. So again, 43 evacuated. The rest of the almost 300 patients here in the hospital, they will continue to transport them throughout the night to various local agencies. One really positive note here is that when the power went out, and again, they don't know exactly what happened. They're not confirming it was weather related. But as the generators tried to rerun and continue with the electricity, that was causing the problem. So they did have backup generators. They just were not working properly. But they also told us they had just checked on them last week as a safety check. But the good news is it's that when this problem happened, there were no emergency surgeries happening at that particular moment because that could have been a real problem on an emergency table here tonight. The other good news is the rain has subsided somewhat, so emergency crews are doing everything they can to get them out as quickly as possible before the next band of storm and rain moves through this area. So Lots that is the latest from Hudson. It's a crazy situation. Yeah, yes, we're sir. We're talking about Bayonet Point Regional Hospital. Thank you, Jen Holloway, reporting live from Hudson.